So we had a, uh, a leaking gas valve on our furnace. So I changed that. And after I did that, the furnace, um, although it seemed to be running okay, it was short cycling and it would never get up to the temperature that we had set on the thermostat here. So looking inside here, um, this little round thing here, it's called an anticipator. And what it is actually is a little resistor. Um, the, the numbers around it are actually uh, amp amperage settings. So the lower the number, the warmer this little resistor gets. The higher the number, the cooler it stays. What it actually does is anticipates the heat from your furnace and um, shuts the furnace off in accordance with how warm this little resistor gets. It's a little heat source in, is what it is actually in here. So this thing was set at two. So what was happening was the furnace was coming on and because this thing would warm up very quickly, it would shut the furnace down. Um, so I went online and these little numbers around here are amperage um, designations. So what you do is you look on the gas valve and you see what the current setting is for the coil. On mine, it was, uh, I think, 0.410 amps. So you come up here and you can move this little silver dial. It's like a clock. Move it uh, counterclockwise to whatever the number says on your gas valve, which in my case was 0.410. So I moved this one to 4, 0.4. It's between the 3 and the 5, believe me. It's right underneath the arm now. So now this little resistor anticipator, as they call it, stays cooler. So now when the furnace runs, it takes longer for this thing to warm up and shut the furnace down. And you know what? Furnace works perfectly. Comes to temperature, doesn't run half as often, and that's all it was. And I was thinking about buying a new furnace for crying out loud. No, that's all it was. So match up your anticipator setting to the current setting or um, number on your gas valve and you should be good to go. Hope it helps.